Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Airgun Reporter. I'm your host, Paul Capello, of course. For today's episode, I'm very excited to be showing you the German-made Beeman R7, which is basically a compact version of the world-famous Beeman R9, and it shares all of the same features as its big brother. This includes a two-stage adjustable record trigger, the best in its class, a very nicely made stock that has checkering on the grip and the forearm, and a rubber butt pad. It also has very fine bluing throughout, and that's what you come to expect from the Beeman line of German brake barrel air rifles. It has a nice muzzle brake on the front, which makes it very easy to cock. And speaking of cocking, it's only about 18 pounds of effort to cock, which makes it great for younger shooters. As the Elite Combo Series, it comes with a Bushnell banner, 4 to 12 by 40 adjustable objective scope. This is a very nice scope and a perfect size for this rifle. Now, without further ado, let's take this to the air lodge and do some testing on it. Like I said in the introduction, this R7 came to us as the Elite Combo Series model that comes with a Bushnell Banner scope mounted on these nice sports match rings. So all we had to do was point the rifle down range and sight it in. Let me go ahead and cock it for you. We'll show you that. Pretty easy to break open, nice and crisp. Very short stroke. This is about 15 pounds of cocking effort. Now the automatic safety came on, so if you would, were to disengage the safety, all you have to do is cock it completely, and now it's back on safe. You can also decock this model just like the R9. All you do is take it off safe, hold on to the barrel nice and tight, pull the trigger. It's now decocked and it's safe to point down range. Okay, let's go ahead and do the crony testing. The first pellet we'll use. H&N field targets. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, let me go ahead and load my first pellet, the H&N field targets. These are an eight and a half grain pellet in 177 caliber. The mechanics are nice and smooth on this R7. It feels like a tuned rifle right out of the box. Cocking is nice and smooth. There's no honking. No scraping, everything seems really nice. Five hundred and seventy feet per second. All right, I'll continue until I get to ten shots and then we'll see what we get. Okay, well here's our crony results with the H&N field target pellets, 8.5 grain in 177 caliber. We've got a low velocity of 548 feet per second, a high of 591, and an average of 569 feet per second. The extreme spread was surprising, 43 feet per second, with a standard deviation of 13 feet per second. Now, I can attribute that to the fact that brake barrel air rifles need to be broken in. I wouldn't worry too much about these numbers. After about a thousand shots with this R7, you're gonna see these numbers settle down, so don't worry too much about it. All right, that gave us, with an average of 569 feet per second, six foot-pounds of energy. This is definitely a gun for plinking and uh, for target practice. So, let's go ahead and move on to the accuracy testing, and that's where it all counts. Well, despite the fact that the H&N field target pellets gave us such an extreme spread, I have a feeling that they're going to be pretty good. So, let me go ahead and use that pellet first. I've got my target out to 20 meters as usual, and we'll take five shots at our paper target and see how we do. That's pretty nice. Not as jumpy as I thought it would be. So far, our group is looking pretty good. Now because this rifle is so small, I expected it to be a little bit more jumpy in my hands. But given the power level at 6 foot-pounds, I think it's ideally matched for the size of this rifle. And I've got a pretty nice group down range. Let me go get that paper target and we'll show you what we did. This is a pretty nice group, despite that extreme spread we saw from the crony results with the H&N field target pellets. Now, I'm gonna try another pellet, the Beeman Kodiaks. Now, you might think it's a little bit heavy for this gun, 
but I've got a feeling that might be a pretty good pellet, so let's go ahead and see what the results with that are. Okay, well these pellets are a couple grains heavier than the H&N field targets. These are 10.56 grain and 177 caliber. Just about at the top end of weight for a rifle of this power. So, we have a new target out there. Let's see how we do. Well, surprisingly, this group seems to be about the same as with the H&N field targets. Slightly bigger than a quarter of an inch. That's pretty good. So, if you're looking for a pellet with a little bit more punch for the Beeman R7, you might want to try the 10.56 grain Beeman Kodiak pellets. All right, let's go on to the trigger testing, then we'll do the sound testing and wrap up the show. Like the Beeman R9, the R7 shares the same world-class trigger. This is the record trigger. It is two-stage adjustable by using a slotted screwdriver and adjusting this screw right here. Let's go ahead and do the trigger testing and we'll see what we get. and find the average. One pound, 13 ounces. Very nice. Again, what you should expect from such a high quality trigger like the Record. All right, let's move on to the sound testing, which I think is going to put this air rifle in the low to medium loudness category. It's not a loud rifle at all. Some brake barrel air rifles inside the Air Lodge can be pretty loud, especially the Magnum powered ones. But this one is fairly quiet. It's just a nice solid knock when it's fired. So we'll see what our sound meter tells us and then we'll wrap up the show. Okay, for the sound level testing, I'm going to be using a lighter pellet than you've seen me use here today. I have the seven grain RWS hobby pellets. And if you haven't noticed while shooting your air guns, heavier pellets tend to quiet down the rifle. So let me go ahead and see what we get here. We have our meter set to read the highest decibels out of five shots. Well, my cameraman tells us that 95.4 decibels is the loudest reading we got out of five consecutive shots. And I'm glad to say that puts the Beeman R7 in the low loudness category. I haven't come across a rifle like that in a while. I have to say, this is a beautiful little German made rifle. Very high quality. It's small, great for younger shooters. It's a carbine, very easy to cock. You can plank and target practice with this rifle all day long. It's just beautifully made. And the Elite Combo Series from Pyramid Air with the Bushnell Banner Scope is a great matchup. So, for Air Gun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.